We're here at the Kentucky Fried Chicken Festival with Griffin Van Meter, and he is part of Kentucky for Kentucky. He's throwing a pretty cool party. They got free chicken in L81. So you're doing something right over here, sir. What's going on? Well, this is just a celebration of the Colonel. We're about to mount a Colonel Sanders weather vane to the top of the modern motel so we can always know the weather. So uh, what what is this that you're hanging up? You said it's a weather... It's a weather vane. So it will, it will let us know which way the wind is blowing. It will let us know when it's about to rain gravy or mashed potatoes. Uh, what type of uh, chicken will be eaten tonight? Original recipe, crispy, grilled, or boneless. So how long have you or been Or popcorn a... chicken. <laughs> I love that popcorn chicken. All right. How long have you been a lover of L.A. 1 and Kentucky Fried Chicken? Well, I mean, since I, I'm a Kentuckian, I've probably been a lover since I was a little, uh, a little chicken wing swimming up, you know, through the gravy pile, you know, and... Uh, since, since day one, you know, since I came out of the birth canal, I've been loving the fried chicken. Can you uh, describe your very first L.A. 1 moment? Well, my very first L.A. 1, I don't even remember because I was so small. I think my mom had run out of breast milk because I loved it so much. <laughs> and she's like, what are we going to do, Tommy? Tommy's my dad. And she said, what are we going to do, Tommy? And he's like, just give the boy some L.A. 1. Uh, and so she put it in the bottle, and I loved it. And I never went back to the breast milk. It's all I've drank since. Hell yeah, that's LA1. kick ass. There might be more L81 in my body than there is blood. <laughs> I'm here with the one, the only, Fielding Rogers, owner of L81, the delicious Kentucky soft drink. I'm fired up about it. How do you like this amazing party, sir? Yeah. I just walked in, having a great time. Uh, food's great, people are super nice. Uh, plenty of cold L8, definitely having a good time. Yeah. I'm here with Mick, and he's the guy that runs Trivial Thursdays on WRFL. It's true. And here at this party, it's a fun time. I'm having a blast. What brings you here? Oh, it's more than a fun time, my friend. This is one of the great celebrations of uh, the incredible spirit, adventure, community, and patriotism that is alive and well in Lexington, Kentucky. Celebrating the bluegrass, celebrating all the great things that Kentucky is. And so we decided to celebrate that by having this fried chicken festival, getting some people out, drinking some L.A., drinking some bourbon, and just Kentuckyizing. That's what we're into. Kentuckyizing. Yeah, we're just Kentuckyizing right now. And taking back ownership of some unfortunate stereotypes. Which are? Well, you know, maybe just like uh, fried chicken, Kentucky fried chicken, sort of hillbilly sort of things. We own these things. These are, you know, these are things that are part of who we are. But we're also an amazing collection of artists and musicians and innovative business people and just all kinds of characters characters especially kentuckians are characters at the very core all right, i'm here with warren and warren i smell a really delicious piece of chicken over there project fest i'm feeling it seeing all the north side freaks in action and, and force representing it's a good time hell yeah beautiful day did y'all get a piece of that fried chicken and delicious ice cold L8 one? I got a couple. I got three. I made a chicken smoothie. There's a one blender in there. <laughs> that sounds quite delicious, it's sir. Amazing. Way to maximize this time. It's a party. You. Thank you. What does it mean to be a Kentucky Colonel? It means to defend the Commonwealth, to be part of the Governor's Guard, to protect this great place, this land of tomorrow, uh, this land of of limestone and mineral and, and beautiful country. That's what it means. It means to do what you can to help your your fellow Kentuckian out whenever possible. Yes. And that's what this is, is a celebration of a brotherhood and humanity through chicken. In so, LA one and in bourbon. LA one and bourbon. And I appreciate everybody coming out tonight. It's obviously a beautiful night to mount a colonel. You know, but you can mount a colonel in any weather. The colonel is happy and smiling in his grave, knowing that we're honoring him, making big sacrifices. So what does it mean to be a Kentucky colonel to you? Being a Kentucky colonel is the honorarium of honorariums. It's the most accurate bureaucratic proof of my standing in this fabulous long-running order of public superheroes. Hooray for Harland. Hooray for Harland. I'm here with Sean, Sarah, and Josh. They seem to be having a fun time at this party here. What brings y'all to this excellent place? Just came here, have some bourbon, 
eat some chicken. They said bourbon and chicken. I couldn't help myself. We also, were. the erection of Colonel Sanders. It's, just, it's an ode to everything Kentucky, and Colonel Sanders is kind of the personification of that because whenever you're overseas and you tell somebody you're from Kentucky, it's they KFC. immediately say KFC. Yep. And you're like, yay, they know us for our chicken. But hey, we're on the map, so who cares? All right, so what are your, some of your other favorite Kentucky things? Kentucky basketball. Can't get enough of it. Bourbon. <laughs> Bourbon. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Buffalo Trace is one of my favorites. I really like Kentucky women. <laughs> we do it right here. Small <laughs> <laughs> batch. How long y'all been together? I don't know. A couple years, I think. I, I'm a new member, but uh, yeah, a couple years. Two years. Two years. Probably. Two years and uh, a couple days. A couple days. A couple days. What does a Kentucky Colonel mean to you? Um, is that some sort of like minor league sports team's name here in Kentucky? Is that the end of the popcorn when you just ah, don't get the thing? Ah, it's that. It's the thing when you don't get the thing in Kentucky. Actually, in everywhere. It's called a Kentucky Colonel. <laughs> I'm going to go get the Colonel, I'm going to go get Harlan, and we're going to put him in that bucket and we're going to go up. Gallery will be selling the Colonel secrets here in a little bit. So stick around for some some secrets of the Colonel. And yeah, thanks for Joshua. Joshua and Stanley kind of put all this stuff together, so they're uh, we're, we're grateful to them. But anyway, thank you to Small Batch, a band playing up on the board. Yeah. Yeah.